All right, here's another one from Catherine. There's a lot of new thinking on fitness today. What do you think we should know that's different than it used to be? I do hear a lot of things like don't do the high aerobics and... Um, well, I think there's less emphasis on high-impact yeah. uh, uh, aerobics, but the, the two big changes um, that have happened since since I started the fitness industry, right. um, one is, is core training. There's much more understanding yes. now about the importance of working your core, which means you know, your, your, your stomach, your back, your hips, your pelvis, the part that may, makes us able to function mm -hmm. safely and well in, in life. And um, part of doing that uh, asks us to work out on instable, unstable surfaces. You know, there's the BOSU, there's right. the all, all different kinds of, of wobbly surfaces that they put you on, trainers in gyms, for example. And th so you do your bicep curls or whatever you're doing while you're on an unstable surface. And, do you like um, that? I mean, do you approve of that? Well, I have you? a fake knee and a fake hip, so I don't do it that much anymore. But when I did, I found it very good because I'm challenged in the balance department. Right, yeah. And what it, it, re it recruits muscles that we don't, often use the smaller kinds of muscles, the connective muscles that are, as you get older, if those muscles aren't strong, you pay for it in terms of functionality. So that, that's a biggie, that's a big change in, in terms of um, modern day exercise.